Hello and welcome back everyone to this next episode on SAP Datasphere Training with anubavtrainings.com on YouTube. In our last session, we talked about the concept of difference between analytics cloud versus SAP Datasphere. In our today's session, we will learn about how can you set up your SAP Datasphere account for free for learning, training and practice purpose. Together with that, you will also see how to set up the SAP Analytics Cloud account to access the data models built in Datasphere so that you can consume the data models as well. So let's get started. How can we get started with a free instance of SAP Datasphere along with a connected SAP Analytics Cloud? As I've already shown in the previous episode, the difference between Datasphere and analytic cloud they are two different products which are sold with a different subscription fees yet they are very nicely integrated with each other in order to fetch load and communicate with the data so sap provide free instance of datasphere and analytics cloud for consultants like you and me and we as a consultant can go and subscribe these free trial instances to practice most of the features on SAP Datasphere. The best part I love about is the connectivity what they offer through which we will be able to connect and get the data from Datasphere system live in action into the analytics cloud for reporting. As I've already shown previously the architecture analytic cloud work from the consumer point of view it's the consumer of the data and data sphere works as a data source or single source of truth of about your data so let us go ahead and learn how can we get started with a free trial instance on sap data sphere along with sap analytics cloud together so I have provided this link here. You can also find the link in the description of this video where SAP provide a link for uh, starting getting started with the trial. I will copy this link in my browser and you can see get started with the guided experiences. When you come down, you will look that we have an option to get started with free guided experiences which allows consultants to learn and upskill themselves for these new cloud technologies. When you come down a bit more, you can see there are two links for registering the Datasphere as well as Analytic Cloud. So first link I will right click and open in a new tab for Datasphere. It will take me to this particular page where I can see Experience SAP Datasphere. Remember, you will not be getting a access for administration in these systems however you will get a developer access to develop build connect with different data sources load data a lot of these stuff you can do there is a, another way to also start your own free tier data sphere account where you will also get the admin access but in the initial phases of our training we would not need that so I will get started with this experience trial. So I will go ahead and click to start Datasphere account. And first of all, you can also log in here. So you see there's a small log on button. You can click on that and it will ask you to register yourself. So though it says business email, however, you can also give your uh, give your personal email ID like Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, any of your social media uh, mail account as well so once you do that you will accept the terms and condition and submit just like any other social media registration this is pretty simple to fulfill and then you can log in so let me go ahead and log in now so you will be presented a login screen where you can log in now so you can see we have got an email id so I will just enter my email ID. I will enter the CAPTCHA and click on next. 
and now we can enter the password here click on login it logs me in into my account in my SAP account and takes me back to the previous page where I can now click on SAP experience SAP data sphere so you can click on that start your data analytics guided data and analytics guided experience very good please try it will now start registration process for your free trial account or experience account so that you can experience SAP data sphere for free so it is just trying it out now you see it has got me a, a detail about my account so it has got a user ID and it has also got an email yes so that is my account user ID and password I can go ahead and use it when it comes to my user ID and password so of course I would strongly strongly recommend to all of you to save your user ID and password somewhere in your in your computer in some password depot securely so that you would remember this always yes it is extremely important so do not forget to store your password somewhere because otherwise if you forget it I have no way to reset it for you yes or if you forget your user ID I have no way to reset it for you yes so this is extremely important that you all have to do so do not come back later on that I forgotten my password I have no clue I have no idea I have no uh, way to reset your passwords my friends now in addition you can see zero minute ago I have received an email about discovering SAP data sphere with again my user ID and password on my Gmail account and when you scroll down a bit on this email you will find that I have an option to start my experience so you can right click and say copy link address so that you can also bookmark and store the link of this account so behind the scene as I explained in the previous class there is a data center and in the data center uh, in an account gets created for you inside BTP and on top of that BTP account on a Amazon data center SAP will uh, set up the data sphere application software as a service application for you so I now go back to another browser window I copy the link and paste it and you see it will ask me to login so of course now we will give here the user ID and password I have received yes so I will be providing that so let me pass my password and my user ID and I click on login so this way I can now login to my SAP data sphere account for free this is free no charges on your credit card or debit card you don't even have to give your credit card or debit card details yes so you can see welcome screen welcome to guided experience before you begin make sure you zoom in uh, the browser level to 80 to 90 percent zoom level so that you would be able to see all the settings okay that's a just basic thing and now it says manage settings so I click on that it will take me right away to manage setting option where I can just choose my privacy setting if I want to ever clear my data which I'm storing in this data sphere account I can always go ahead and clear now another thing is authorization so you can see that data sphere is a source of data for storing data for your company or for your personal use out of this data maybe some data is very personal so it is very important that as a developer or as a consultant we allow SAP so we accept this uh, you know content authorization that on behalf of us whatever data we store the system the data sphere system would have access to this data let's say you have a very critical plant data or some government data which you are getting you're working on a government project and storing that data on a data sphere so you would want to authorize by authorizing us you are giving a consent that in the future if you have a data replication task 
और डेटा फ्लो टास्क यस और एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो डेटा जॉब्स एस ए पी कैन एग्जीक्यूट दीज जॉब्स टू टीक योर डेटा टू अव ब्रिंग इन न्यू डेटा ऑन योर बिहाफ द डेटा स्वेयर सिस्टम कैन डू दिस ऑन योर बिहाफ यस दैट्स वॉट इट इट आस्क यू फॉर कंसेंट इफ यू डू नॉट गिव दिस कंसेंट यू हैव a uh, lot of issues while developing the data models in the system so this is a very first setting you must 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 authorize otherwise you will have lot of issues while working with the system so once i authorize i am now ready to unleash the power of my business data yes so this is how i can set up my sap data sphere account yes now let's also simultaneously set up the analytic cloud experience account the beauty is you can switch over back to the same page where we started and we have analytics cloud also we can open that and the process is very much same we click on experience analytics cloud you can see already the the login is there for me i click on that and i say start your analytics cloud guided experience system i can click on try now and you would see that i will be able to connect to my sap analytics cloud guided experience so once again the same process and behind the scene now what it is doing it is configuring a btp on that btp account it is creating everything for me out of the box and once again i have got my user id password here yes to get started with sap analytics cloud account i am yes i am my passwords are visible to you but i would assume and hope that you guys will not misuse my user id password but rather you will create your own and then we just go ahead and click on start my guided experience i click on this button and that starts the guided experience for analytics cloud yes and of course i will go ahead and enter my user id and password there so i will be entering my user id and password for the analytics cloud account and click on login so now i have got my user for sap analytics cloud and i have also got my user it's a fresh very fresh system i say accept yeah yes so this is a very fresh system for both sap analytics cloud guided experience and sap data sphere guide uh, sap data sphere yeah guided experience so these are the steps to create a free system yes and you see i am using actually my gmail account to do that i do not have or i did not use in this case any company account and i did not provide any credit card details to get started with these instances for free so it's your time that you can go ahead and create an account for yourself and get started with our training courses both on analytics cloud and data sphere for free for free yes these instances are free you can practice them and they are all cloud they run on your browser you do not need to install anything in your local machine or local computer as i've already explained you the difference between cloud versus on premise applications so in this training our main goal will be to work with the data sphere not with analytic cloud as i already mentioned in the previous episodes if somebody interested to learn end to end analytic cloud join my analytic cloud training however i will show you the integration between both of them as well as part of our current course but in general if you are interested to learn analytic cloud end to end with all the capabilities like bi planning analytic designer predictive live data connections with different data sources acquired data connections digital boardroom all that is covered as part of my analytic cloud 40 hour dedicated training available only exclusively on anubhavtrainings.com all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubhavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact@anubhavtrainings.com 
for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, I will signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.